Yep, mm -hmm. you're in trouble this time. And how do you base that? Assault and battery. Of all of your chops! Why, thank you. But as you know, <laughs> life without music would be flat. But, as you know, you have to be sharp to have fun with it. I see you have a major scale of musical puns. Uh, relatively <laughs> minor feat. You certainly think outside the pentatonic box. A skill not to be diminished. Yes, but this is the perfect interval of jokes. Ah, yes, I fourth that. Heck, even fifth it and eighth it. Whoa, round tendo. Oh, sorry, I do have a joke about fermata, but I think it is too long. <laughs> oh, no worries. Say, have you heard about that TV show starred on Five Roots? It's called Mixolodeon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adoring these jokes. Oh, yes, very E minor to A. This is a nice frequency of jokes, too. Yes, and they aren't cringy enough to make it hurt either. Oh yes, none of that F sharp major seven, G sharp, F minor, A sharp minor stuff. No, no, no. Oh, you struck a chord with that one. Oh, sorry. It was the progression these jokes were headed for. Why not go for a flat seven? Why, we aren't Eric Clacton. <laughs> That was weird, but if you want to understand this video at all, I did edit the subtitles to kind of point out the puns I added, and if you had no idea what on earth I was even talking about, I have this video over here, which basically just talks about the music theory behind each of the jokes, so have fun with that.